What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on who I think is going to make it into the NHL playoffs this year, and which teams I think are going to go on to win the NHL Stanley Cup for 2020. Let's get right into this. Okay, since we are approaching the halfway point for this year's season, I decided to make this video like I have been doing every year now, and just kind of discussing all the teams that I think are going to make it into the playoffs, considering everything that I've seen so far this season. Now, some people on my list of which teams I think are going to make it into the playoffs are not quite there yet. I think by the end of the season, they hopefully will continue to do good things on the ice and to hopefully move up in the standings so they can make it into the playoffs. But some of these are going to be a little bit questionable near the end, but we're going to be really excited to see who is going to make it, and I'm also going to be discussing who I think is going to win the Stanley Cup playoffs as of now, it being the halfway part for this season. So first, I'm just going to share who I think is going to make it into the playoffs this year. I'm going to start with the East Coast first because that's easier for me. Up first is the Washington Capitals. They are doing amazing on the ice right now. I believe at the time I'm recording this video is about 53 points, which is amazing for the halfway point. Uh, of course, they have a lot of great players on their team, and they're doing great things. They're former Stanley Cup champions, so I can see them doing really good for the rest of the season and continue with the success they've been having. Next for me would be the New York Islanders. We've been seeing great things over them for the past few years. Of course, Robin Leonard is no longer part of the Islanders. He's now on Chicago, which isn't doing so hot this season, but Islanders are still doing pretty good on the ice. Next would be the Carolina Hurricanes, who... At the beginning of the season, we're doing really great. They did make it into the playoffs last year, and they're one of the teams that I was pulling for to go on and win the Stanley Cup, but I'm glad that the St. Louis Blues did win last year, and they've been doing really great things, so I think they're going to continue with their success. And also the Pittsburgh Penguins, but we see the Pittsburgh Penguins make it into the Stanley Cup every year. This year, I think if they make it into the playoffs... Honestly, it's sad for me to say this, but I'm hoping they get eliminated first round because I'm tired of always seeing the same team, the Pittsburgh Penguins, get into the finals and win the Stanley Cup, and it just started getting dull for me. That's why I'm glad that new teams are starting to win St. Louis last year, the first time winning it. But another team for the East Coast that I'd like to see bump Pittsburgh out or one of the other teams that I just mentioned uh, would be the Philadelphia Flyers. I feel like they're not quite there yet. But if they keep doing what they're doing on the ice and try a little bit harder, I feel like they can make it into the playoffs, which is something I'd honestly like to see. Now, whether or not they pass Pittsburgh Penguins and replace them in the playoffs, I don't know if that's going to happen. I think Pittsburgh Penguins can still put up a great fight and still remain in the playoffs. But maybe Philadelphia will bump another team instead. Uh, also, I have the Boston Bruins who made it into the finals last year. And I'm really glad that they didn't win because Boston Bruins... They have a great team. They have great players. They've won the cup before, which is awesome for them to do. They are one of the NHL uh, original six teams, which is awesome. But there is a, one player on the team which I don't like so much. I like that he backs himself up and he does what he wants, but he's really aggressive. And especially in the playoffs, when they make it to the playoffs, they go hardcore, which is nice to see because a lot of teams don't. They just go in to freaking dominate, which is awesome. I just don't see them winning this year. Next would be Montreal Canadiens, who I feel always choke whenever it comes to the playoffs. It's either they make it to the playoffs or they don't, but if they make it to the playoffs, they usually choke. Now, they do have some great players. Max Domi, who I'm a huge fan of, is doing great. So I could see different things, but I think they're definitely going to make it into the playoffs with the success they've had so far this season. Next up is one that, again, it might be questionable. Right now, they're in the standings to make it to the playoffs, but anything can happen for the rest of the season. And that is the Buffalo Sabres. They're a team that they're doing great things. They're starting to really pick up the wins that they need to make it into the playoffs and continue for the rest of the season, but that's an iffy one for me. And the last one for the East Coast, or the Eastern Division, I should say, uh, Eastern Conference, sorry, is the Florida Panthers. Now, they're not quite there yet. They still need to get pushed a lot more, and they still need to be accumulating a lot more wins, which they haven't been recently. But, of course, at the end of last season, they ended up acquiring Sergei Bobrovsky, which I'm really happy because I'm a great fan of his. He is, in my, in my opinion, a top goalie, and with all the other talent, Mike Hoffman and the rest of the team that's doing great things on the ice, I feel like they can definitely be contenders for the playoffs. 
They need to pick up more wins, of course. They need to get more points, and they need to start pushing and pushing and pushing for the playoffs. But they're a team I definitely feel could be going into the playoffs this year, and I'm really hoping they do. Next, for the Western Conference, first up is going to be the St. Louis Blues. They are dominating this season like they did last season. Of course, they won the Cup last year. I actually see them going on, not only going into the playoffs, but making it into the finals because of what they've been doing so far this season. So I'm really excited to see if that happens and if they can be a two-time with two consecutive years winning the Cup. I'd honestly love to see that. Next would be Colorado Avalanche, who I'm also a fan of. I think they need to continue what they're doing, but also pick up. They have a lot of young talent. They have a lot of great players, which I like to see, but I really want to see a little bit more of crazy stuff from them, and hopefully they can continue with their success. Next would be Dallas Stars, who I feel like they're a team that can definitely be contenders and definitely make it to the finals. It's just every year for the playoffs, it seems like they always slip or something happens. They have great players on the teams. It's just they always miss that opportunity. So I feel like they're definitely somebody that could make it to the finals, hopefully. And next is going to be the Winnipeg Jets. Now, I'm a Canadian. I love cheering for the Canadian teams. It's just... If any of the teams, St. Louis Blues, Colorado Avalanche, Dallas Stars, or Winnipeg Jets were to be replaced by another team, I feel like Winnipeg Jets could get bumped out. That's the team I'm going to pick to get bumped out, if any do, but I think they're doing great things and they need to continue that. Another team that would be nice to see get in, which they're not quite there, and I'd be okay if they didn't, but if they did, I'd expect great things, and that's Nashville Predators. They've been doing great things, of course. They had a great shot uh, last year. Maybe it was the year before. I can't quite remember. And they were doing great things on the ice. And with uh, Mike Fisher's return, that was amazing for the playoffs to see him come back. I absolutely loved them in the playoffs. They didn't quite do what they wanted to do, but it, that's okay. So I'm hoping they make it into the playoffs as well. But if they do, they'd have to bump out Winnipeg Jets, in my opinion, which is something I think they could do if they keep going. They just need to get to that point this season. And next will be the last four will be Arizona Coyotes, who are doing amazing this season. Of course, at the end of last season, they acquired Phil Kessel from the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, who I didn't expect to go to that team. Prior to him making it to the team, I always felt like Carolina, uh, sorry, Arizona Coyotes were a undercard team. They weren't quite there to be contenders. They were trying a lot of new things. They had a lot of young players, a lot of rookies, and they're always losing top talents. But with them signing Phil Kessel, right away they started doing great things on the ice. And I'm really excited to see what the team has to offer. And of course, recently, a couple weeks ago, Taylor Hall was acquired from Arizona Coyotes. Which to me is a huge factor for them making it to the playoffs. Of course, with him and Phil Kessel and the rest of the team we were, who are doing great. It's not just these two players that falls on the team. The whole team's doing great this season. I feel like they're definitely making it to the playoffs and hopefully the finals that's something I would love to see uh, Vegas Golden Knights their first year into the league they made it all the way to the finals which was incredible for them to do they did dominating season the next year they still did great they didn't quite do what they wanted to this season I think they're going to continue doing great things they have key players but whenever you have too many key players everything stops working the way it should be so it's going to be interesting to see if they can continue on this momentum next Edmonton Oilers They've been slipping the past few years. They've been slipping for a long time, in my opinion. Connor McDavid's on the team, who I feel should be doing better. He's great on the ice, but the team itself is not doing so hot. I remember last season and the season before, um, he was mentioning in interviews that the team just isn't what they should be. They're, they're arguing all the time. They're blaming each other, and they should be working together more. And I 100% agree with that. So I feel if the team can be one as a whole and work together and use teamwork with Connor McDavid with his skills. I feel like they can definitely be contenders this year. And of course the Calgary Flames. I'm a huge fan of the Calgary Flames. I think they can make it to the playoffs if they don't choke. That's something I see them doing is making it to the playoffs. Usually they choke. Hopefully they can actually make good this year. They were one of my picks to win last year's Stanley Cup because of the success they had last season. So I'm hoping they continue and make it to the playoffs this year. And so we can see what we can do. One team that I really think will not make it to the playoffs, however, for the Western Division or Western Conference, sorry, is the San Jose Sharks. I feel like they've just acquired so many top talent that now that they have so many top talent, they're kind of combating each other and they're just not working out. The team as a whole is very 
dysfunctional and I think there's big changes that need to happen and it will definitely happen in the future so they can become contenders but I don't see them making it so this is who I think is going to make it to the playoffs now as of right now since it's the halfway mark who I think will win the playoffs this year normally I pick one team from the east coast one team from the west coast this year I have two teams from the east coast and two teams from the west coast that I really think could win or I hope to see them win so up first, the East Coast, I'm going to pick the Washington Capitals. They've been doing great things. They've been dominating this season, and it's only the halfway mark. So I see their success continuing for the rest of the season. So that's my first pick of who I think is actually going to win for the East Coast. Another team for the East Coast who isn't quite there, but I'm really expecting them to, and I'd honestly be extremely happy if they won the Stanley Cup this year. That is the Florida Panthers. They're not quite there yet. They've always been an undercard team, but with the acquiring of Sergei Bobrovsky and with the team's other players and the success they've been having over the past few years, I see them really being contenders this year and hopefully dominating and making it to the playoffs and then seeing what they can do in the playoffs and proving what they can do. I really would like to see them, but that's one that they, as of right now, are not in the playoffs, so we will see later on to see what they can do and what they will do. And if they can make it to the playoffs, I'm hoping they do because they're one of my picks for winning the Stanley Cup this year. And now for the West Coast, of course, I'm going to pick the St. Louis Blues. They're contenders from last year. They were the champions from last year. I really feel like they've been dominating this season. And with the success and riding on the high from winning last year, I feel like they can go into this year and win the Stanley Cup again. I feel like they're definitely going to make it to the finals at least for the Stanley Cup. That would be lovely to see. I honestly am a huge fan and seeing what they've been doing this season really inspires me to want them to win the cup again, which is something that I wasn't, wasn't too sure how I felt with them winning last year, but with them winning last year, I'm glad it was a new team. I would like to see them win again. That would be awesome to see. And the last team I'm going to pick and this for the Western conference is the Arizona Coyotes. They've been doing great. Like I've already mentioned in this video, they've been dominating. They have Phil Kessel and Taylor, Taylor Hall now along with a bunch of other talents and a lot of young rookies, and they've been doing great this season. I really, if you asked me a couple years ago if I would expect to see Arizona Coyotes in the playoffs and make them in the future a pick to win the playoffs, I probably would say I highly doubt it. Now with what they're doing this season and this past season, now that they have acquired these two top players and their players all are doing great in my opinion, I feel like they're definitely contenders. It's going to be interesting to see what they can do. And I really wish they go on to win the Stanley Cup. So these are my four picks to win the Stanley Cup this year. Normally, I just pick one East Coast, one West Coast. I honestly couldn't narrow it down. So that's why I decided to pick Florida Panthers, Washington Capitals, St. Louis Blues, and Arizona Coyotes. So I'm going to leave this video here. We are approaching the halfway mark. By the time I upload this, it will probably be the halfway mark. So comment down below who you feel is going to make it to the playoffs this year, who you feel is going to win the Stanley Cup this year as of right now with it being the halfway mark, and comment down below if you're a team, if you feel like they're going to make it to the Stanley Cup playoffs this year. I'm an Ottawa Senators fan. I just don't see them doing it this year. Next season, if they continue with what they're doing on the ice, with Anthony uh, doing great things as well, I could see the team doing better, but comment that down below. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.